So before I really start off on this video, I want to play a little bit of this guy's video. Uh, his video, his video, PlayStation fanboy calls Nintendo racist. I know where he's gonna go with this and all that, but I want to play this, play this little clip. Um, the guy he's responding to, by the way, is on the video right now. But just so you know, I'm gonna play this clip because it's this man's clearly spreading misinformation. Okay, it's the guy he's responding to, right? Okay, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but first of all, the Game Awards literally mean jack shit. The award for Game of the Year tends to go to the person that throws the most money at Jeff Keighley. And second of all, if any character is setting an unrealistic expectation of the female body, it's Abby because there is no fucking way that her body could ever exist. And I know she's supposed to be transgender, but one, if she went through male puberty, she could have had that body, but not that voice and face. And if she didn't go through male puberty, she couldn't have had the body. Moving on. Abby, for the record, is not transgender. Abby has never been hinted to be transgender. The transgender character in The Last of Us Part 2, dummy, is Lev. Which, yes, interacts with Abby, but Abby herself is not trans. In fact, we're shown earlier points in the game where she actually is shown to be a complete female. Hell, she's not even just, you know, a woman. She's a straight white woman. So she doesn't even fit like the LBGTQ quota that people accuse The Last of Us Part 2 doing. What's up, guys? This is that PlayStation Gamer talking to you guys today about this YouTube channel. Mostly because, man... I got some shit to say about this guy, because, first off, I don't know how to say his name. I, I really don't. It's, I don't think he lives in the United States, obviously. You can tell by his voice. He clearly sounds like he's from a different country. Okay, fine, I'm not going to make fun of him for his accent. I'm not going to make fun of him for, you know, things he can't control. Uh, it looks like it's spelled Automix. Automix24. Well, me and Otto... That's what I'm going to call Otto. Otto, the Plateau. You know, that Simpsons reference. Um, actually, in one, one of his videos, asked him, like, hey, would you be open to debate? And he said yes. Now, what happened is I got hold of his Discord. Me and we're talking, and this was scheduled to happen on a Friday, two weeks ago. Guy, I actually had to ask the guy, straight up, hey, are we still on for this debate on Friday? He says, no, I'm going to have to change the time, maybe the other day. Have not heard from him since. This man, also, he seems to really have a hate boner for Sony games. Like, I don't know what Sony did to him at some point, but it's fucking baffling that someone can spread so much information about PlayStation and still makes videos about PlayStation fanboys. You know, you would like to think if you were making videos about a subject, you know, if you want to correct someone, you know, know more about them, you would, you know, look into the games you're talking about, but no, he doesn't do any of that. And listen, I understand. Everyone's got their preference. Everyone, you know, wants to play on their preferred platform. He's a PC gamer, clearly. That's fine. That's great, in fact. But, you cannot be telling me with a straight face, you think every single PlayStation game is garbage. Because he, he seems to think that. I can tell you from watching this guy's videos, he does not seem to have anything nice to say about Sony outside of, uh, maybe they have, like, one game I like, and that's Bloodborne. It's like, well, that wasn't even developed by Sony, but... Okay, I guess I'll give you some, you know, applause for that. It's just... These are the kind of YouTube channels I can't stand to watch. Mostly because, A, they're a commentary channels, so they're reactionary as all hell. I know, ironically, I just reacted. But this man's YouTube content is so bland, so cookie cutter. He doesn't, you get, I, I'm not trying to sit here and, you know, you know jerk myself off or whatever because I show my face. But a lot of these guys don't show their faces. A lot of these guys could talk all this smack, all this smack about PlayStation gamers. 
all the Xbox, Xbox, Nintendo gamers. But at least some of these Xbox gamers and Nintendo gamers and X, PlayStation gamers are actually showing their faces. They're not sitting there hiding behind a computer to, you know, feel like, oh, see, see, ponies? I'm smarter because I'm on the PC. Like, dude, thousands of people are on PC every day. They don't think they're better than everyone. You have this entitled attitude with your channel that just, ah, oh, just screams. I'm insecure. Listen, dude, at the end of the day, do I think PC game is great? Yes. I think it's a great platform. I think people should buy PCs. I think they should buy PCs before they buy consoles. Because it's a lot it's more of a long term investment, but you can get more out of it. But you have this hate boner for Sony that I just can't wrap my head around. So yeah again, I'm gonna challenge you a debate. I'm auto. That's what I'm going to call you, Otto, because it's A-T-O. Close enough. I'm not going to call you A-T-O. You know, I challenge you to a debate. We could talk on Discord. We could stream it on your channel. Or, hell, we don't have to stream it at all. We could just talk in private. And if you want to make a video about what we talked about in private, go ahead. You have my blessing. You have my permission. But, dude, you <sighs> need to have a more open-minded, a more, you need to be more open-minded about games because you seem just, just like every other fucking these pc commentary channels i see seem to have this very thin line of games you like and games you don't like this is actually why like, i have to get the kim john the kim kim un guy whatever you know at least a little bit of praise because he does seem to actually like playstation games because he actually does seem to actually have played them you know then made an opinion on them but you know that's whatever. Until next time, guys, this is that PlayStation Gamer sign out. Have a good day. And remember, sometimes it's not, it pays off to show that lovely face. I think I need to shave this beard off. Peace out.